Well, hi everyone and welcome. Thank you for coming to today's webinar, Search Marketing Metrics That Matter. So the first thing we're going to talk about today is the reason that we might not want to always consider using rankings as our measurement for SEO is that really search has evolved. That's really one of the primary reasons that rankings may not be the best way for you to measure your organic search efforts uh, going forward is what do you really want to measure and how do you define that? Well, the first thing I like to tell people is I would start at the end. What is your ultimate goal? And then work backwards from there and figure out how do I measure that? So if your end goal is sales and leads, then what are some effective ways to measure the path to get from a search engine or your SEO efforts all the way to that, that end goal? And so the first thing I would say that you want to measure that's really fairly simple and straightforward to measure is your organic site traffic. If you have Google Analytics installed, you definitely want to have Google Analytics goals. Now, if you're in e-commerce, your goal is typically not leads, but it's just typically direct sales right through the website. So another piece in Google Analytics you want to consider setting up is the e-commerce module. The other thing you need to think about is uh, measuring leads, opportunities, and sales. So at Search Mojo, we have really two levels of leads. So this is something you need to think about when we talk about goals versus leads, um, and, and one of our goals is a lead, but it may not always be. So we have things called marketing qualified leads and sales qualified leads. One of the biggest challenges though is attribution, and attribution is a big conversation going on in marketing all over the place, not just in SEO, but um, many CRM tools, including really Google Analytics, uh, really only currently allow single attribution, meaning first touch or last touch. 